Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Luke will have graduated college or be just on the cuff. Right. Uh, and he'll be in college anyway. Ah, uh, filming live from a third story one bedroom apartment of North Mishawaka, Indiana, the Princess City, cursed by geese. It's the Handlebar Growing Mustache Extravaganza with your host, Dave. Handlebar Mustache Show, Handlebar Mustache Show. Stash is looking great, but we can't be late for the Handlebar Mustache Show. We, uh, welcome back to your 5 day 215 take 2 bus talk edition. Well, I'm joined as always by my good friend Fat T. Is that you, Fat? Oh, uh, what's up, buddy? You're going to go back to the old Jerome Bennett bus? Well, the bus, he was called himself the bus. Yeah, yeah. I was talking about the old Trump guy. He called his words locker room talk, but he wasn't in a locker room. He was on the bus, so I call it bus talk. Oh, that's nice. I love it. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes if you're on a bus, like you get away with stuff because those girls don't have enough money to have a car. So maybe they're looking for a few extra bucks, and maybe you can um, touch them for a few bucks. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I never thought about that, but I guess that's possible. Only on the bus, though. <laughs> yes, I don't know, man. I'm glad I got my own car. Or you could pick somebody up at the bus stop and take them to wherever, and then take their dollar and then use it for groceries. Huh. Yeah, one dollar won't get too much anymore. I did get three little mini Slim Jims for a dollar today. I was pretty proud of myself, but yeah. Ah, bite into a Slim Jim, huh? Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not suggesting that you should pick people up from the bus stop. I'm just saying oh. that if you're going to talk... You're telling me what's a good thing to do. What are you doing? If you're going to talk nasty on the bus, that's what's going to happen to you. Ah, huh. I don't think public... Transportation would like your message very much, but no, nobody likes the message. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. So anyway, there's a couple good games on. They got the Dodgers and the Nationals deciding who's going to play the Cubs, and then my Broncos are playing the Dread Chargers. Ooh. Looks like the Chargers are actually playing a little bit better than the uh, Broncos so far. I know the Broncos are undefeated, right? But how about some of the Chargers? How are they doing? They've lost three games by a total of like seven points. Uh, they're they're a hard, hard not life. Yeah. It's a hard not life for us. It's a hard not life for us. Yes. And then I had a rough singing lesson. What happened? Well, instead of, I kept sliding to the notes when I was singing with uh, me, mommy, lo, la, lo, ki, ka, ki. I kept sliding to the note instead of hitting it straight on. And I'm not sure why. It's probably more pipe. You gotta do it like you mean it. Yes. It's more of a. Uh... Maybe, I don't know, I think a little more, I don't know, it's tough, tough call. I don't, I don't know, I don't know, anyway. So we hit a bumpy road there, but uh, then we we played that Donna song again about that poor goat going to get killed. Uh, we talked about the meaning of it, too. I guess there are all these villages outside of Russia, outside of the main cities where all the Jews used to live. Because they didn't want the Jews living in the cities. Oh. So they had their own kind of infrastructure. And they had their own slaughterhouses. For the... Uh, for, their, for their goats and sheep and yeah. cows, I guess. Uh. So he was lamenting the death of the goat, but thinking, what kind of freedom does he have? If he has to live outside the city, I guess. I don't know. He said he would want wings to fly away. Yeah, we don't want wings to fly away sometimes. Yeah. 
Yes, so we got to keep ourselves spiritually fit, Fat. And grounded because we can't fly. That's right. So, anyway, I guess that's today's lesson. Uh, pretty good, Professor Slim. Uh, Professor Slim and Student Fatty. Oh, yeah. And if I'm ever anxious, I ask Google on my phone. I say, Google, are bees extinct? And Google says, no, not extinct. And I go, oh, that's nice. Because I heard Google wants to get into the artificial intelligence business. So I figure every time I ask him about the bees, they one step closer. So you say you're worried about the bees being extinct because of the... Uh, well, I guess one, one strand in Hawaii went extinct. But that was just a small... There's plenty of bees around, like commercial bees. They said the problem is the beekeepers. They don't pay the beekeepers very much. Or they don't get much for their honey or something. That's probably a tough job. You can get stung to death. I mean, I hate to say that, but that's why I love bees, but I wouldn't want to be a beekeeper. It's probably a little, it's probably fine if you're careful. I like a saddle run. I guess if you bundle up, you know, in your big suit with your big hel helmet. I know. Maybe the bees are more aggressive than these. I don't know, Dave. Oh, angry bees. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be mad, too, if I was a bee. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, I probably said too much. Ah, uh, anyway, knock on wood, keep it classy in the web, and until I see you manana, I bid you all, oh, a river archie, and a new one. Ah, uh, Frantabulous made stuffed pork chops for dinner. They were pretty good. <laughs>